morning to you and good morning to you. Time now for pop news. And you know, we love Connie Britton in Friday Night yes. Lights. Yes. Yes. Nashville. <laughs> Happy to tell you she is back. Teaming up again with producer Ryan Murphy, who has had quite a role, by the way, on The People vs. O.J. Simpson, then Feud on FX. Well, now Britain is set to star in a show called 911 for her old boss, a little different than their first collaboration when Britain led the first season of Murphy's American Horror Story. I totally forgot that she was on that. Mm -hmm. This show, 911, will explore the high-pressure world of paramedics, police officers, and firemen and women. Listen to her co-stars, Angela Bassett. And oh, Peter wow. Krause wow. will co-star with Britain on this series, helmed again by Ryan Murphy. I, Sounds pretty I, darn I good. What, I spent a lot of time with her in Nashville for yes. the show. She, ooh, so happy for her. And you, by the way, were fantastic in your acting on Nashville. Uh, I don't know if anybody <laughs> saw that. Um, also in pop news this morning, it could be billionaire versus billionaire in the 2020 election. Dallas Mavericks owner and Shark Tank star Mark Cuban says he is, quote, actively considering a run for president. On a podcast called Viewpoint, giving his, he says he is considering but not ready to commit, the owner of the Mavericks, as I said. Uh, Cuban says he is a problem solver, but here's one that he may not be able to solve. It's a little tricky. His wife. That might be his first campaign stop, and it could be his last if she doesn't get on board right now. He's putting the odds at only 10%. Cuban, as you may know, he was very vocal. He supported Hillary Clinton in the last election. He's been also very vocal in his opposition to President Trump. To be continued on that one. We hear Michelle that a lot. Obama didn't like I it first. To say, we hear that a lot from so spouses. So he's in 100 percent, but his wife only 10, so that means he's not doing it. Well, right now, <laughs> he is a very, he's a very convincing guy, though. Yeah, every, 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 every married man understands. I, I, in my, the first time I wrote it, I said, behind every great man is an even greater woman. Mm -hmm. So I, I do agree that that he's got a big hurdle to overcome. Mm. Uh, and then uh, finally in pop news this morning, life is pretty darn good for current Jeopardy champ Austin Rogers with his mop of brown curls oh, and his full beard. He is a hoot, Robin. The bartender from New York City is on a major winning streak thanks to his encyclopedia-like knowledge. And kids, an encyclopedia is this book that we used to look at. <laughs> <laughs> and his risky betting strategy. Last night's final Jeopardy was no different when he asked correctly, who is Nelson Mandela? Did you bet big? Oh! Yeah. 34,000 gives you 69,000 now. And you're, you're over a quarter million. $257,700. And you play again. Whoa. Yeah. He should be dancing. Yeah, you see his dancing? <laughs> He should be dancing six straight wins in a row, and he keeps on going on Jeopardy until he loses to be continued tonight. That looks like a single man dance. Oh, the single man. Oh, the single man. Look at that. He's not going to be single for long. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.